Es nuestra única oportunidad. Tenemos que aprovecharla. I think one of the things that's really good about this film is that it doesn't try to uh, dwell on the human storylines, each one individually, because then the movie could have been, you know, five hours long. Instead, it's, it recognizes that actually the monsters are the stars and we've got to, you know, we've got to get to the, the fight. So I think keeping the, the people kind of separate is, is, is actually good. I mean, I suppose that there are uh, the natural similarities of in both in both worlds. There are humans trying to um, control or manage or somehow organize these huge creatures that are autonomous in their own right and aren't going to listen to people. Um, and you know, I suppose. I suppose in both worlds, there's the sense that, that they're the main event and the human world is sort of, you know, on the sidelines actually. And um, I think that's similar in both storylines. Um, yeah. And I think ultimately, you know, there's a, there's a lot of sort of uh, the sense that this is about a war and competition and therefore it's about power but I think the storylines weave together and it ends up being something much more about compassion and uh, listening to people, which is good. It's Godzilla. If she loses faith in Godzilla, she's doing her mum a disservice. And I think that there's a sense of her wanting to keep her mum's spirit and belief alive. And so she's doing everything her mum has ever wanted to do, which is protect uh, the Titans. I think it's um, I think it's a coming definitely together of um, of all the different stories. Um, it's definitely a roller coaster of a movie. You know, there's so many different parts. There's so many different um, uh, cogs and kind of things and dongs to the film. Um, so uh, I guess uh, towards the end of the film, I'm watching it and I'm like, well, they did a really good job of bringing it all together because um, it is a chaotic film, but more not less the storyline, but like what's going on. Uh, there's a lot of monsters and a lot of humans. There's a lot of um, smashing of buildings and giant mountains. So. Um, yeah, that was kind of my favorite bit, kind of seeing it all come together and really, um, yeah. Well, I wouldn't say Godzilla is necessarily got any technological aspects just because he lives in the ocean. I mean, we use tech to locate him. We also use tech to locate Kong. I think they both just have different habitats, you know, and where, mm -hmm. where they belong. Um I think that, you know, when Zilla's in his habitat, when he's in the ocean, he feels the safest. I keep waiting for because I'm Kong no se doblega. 